Madison County High School is at the center of a religious and political controversy, and it's all because of a donated monument at the school that has Bible verses on it. Yeah, some groups outside of Georgia say it violates the law, but Fox 5 spoke to several Madison County residents, and they say they're just fine with it. Fox 5's Patty Pan has a story. It sits seven feet tall and weighs an estimated two tons. This granite monument that sits outside the Madison County High School Fieldhouse has come to represent Red Raider pride. When I first saw it, I loved it. I thought it was amazing. I thought it was nice that there were still people with good values and good morals you know, out there that we're supporting our team. But now this monument has become the center of a political firestorm. Alongside the logos, it displays two prominent New Testament biblical passages. Since it was put up in late August, members of the Red Raiders football team have grown accustomed to touching the monument as they head out to the field. But according to two organizations, the problem is the use of the Christian references on the monument. The American Humanist Association and the Freedom From Religion Foundation both argue it violates the law. The problem is that it clearly in endorses the Christian religion, it quotes from the Christian Bible, and at a public school, as a public school monument, that is constitutionally prohibited. Uh, so it's a clear violation of the separation of state and church. After receiving letters from both organizations, the attorney for the school system responded in a letter saying, quote, the board is currently investigating options available to it regarding the monument, including but not limited to removal of the monument or modifying the monument in some manner, end quote. We are happy that the school views this as a problem um, and is working to fix it. But for Madison County High students like Leah Hawks, the monument represents more than just Red Raider pride. Everyone has their own beliefs, but at the end of the day, most people believe some type of God. Well, that's our kind of God here at Madison County. We always, you know, look up to that, and that's part of us. And I don't think it should be taken right up. Again, the school system says that they will take action depending on what the board decides is the best way, the most economical and efficient way to handle this. So we'll apparently have to wait and see. Reporting for Madison County, I'm Patty Pan, Fox 5 News.